hi you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel hi makanksha so in this video this is not the look i am going to do this is a basic look which i always do but um the intro which i shot for this the video which i am actually going to see um you know happened like there was some issue with my sd card and then like the entire intro and the starting part where i did my brows and concealer did not uh, come on it so forgive me for that but then there was some issue is the sd card i always use but it not come so i thought i'll give like a separate intro because without intro if i start the video it will be too lame so anyways welcome uh, today we are going to do a nice uh, not so black black smoky eye like i don't want it to be intense black where it's like black all over but i want that richness of the black to be that smokiness to be so this is like a look you can do any time and it can look really really beautiful now i'm not somebody who does like black intense smoky eyes or kajal at all in general but when it comes to like festivities indian weddings etc like i love that black intense kajal smoky eye on my eye because it just amplifies the look it just brings everything uh, together so that's what we are going to do again you can play around with different color palettes and work this according to your outfit you always have to learn the technique from my videos and i hope you find this useful let's get started so we're going to move on to the eye part i know i'm doing eyes first like who is she who is she um like i i'm so used to doing makeup so like i do eyes after like my base only always but like today it's black so even if i mess up a little bit it will be like too much so i was like might as well do my eyes first so uh, i'm going in with kajal first and for that i'm using the maybelline colossal um kajal i'm just going to apply this on the rims of my eyes I'm going to apply it first i'm just going to line my eye with it but i'm going to line it a little thicker i would only suggest you go in with cream products where you want the more concentration don't like contour and like you know shape and do with cream product because if it goes um a little heavier if you go wrong the black is going to stay and not going to look nice so i would suggest you like you know only apply where you just need that intensity and the shape you can always add with like the eye shadow powder so this is where i'm going to stop this at and uh, now i'm going to go ahead and take a tiny brush this is the plume p19 brush now i'm going to go ahead and blend that out so you can see i'm going on the edges kind of trying to smudge it out trying to just like diffuse those ends a little bit before i go ahead and add like you know any powder or anything like that tiny black got there and i really don't want that to happen so i'm immediately going to like kind of you know go in back with my concealer brush if i can find it i'm going to conceal that off because i don't want black right there it's just going to look off on my eye so anyway see this is where at we are at i'm going to stop right there now see like when i look straight you can kind of see like only black right if you have hooded eyes this will be even more easier if you have like more lid space then just add it until like you look straight and then there is no like skin being seen don't add it till here like don't close your eye and completely add it that's what i'm saying because that can be a little too much next for eyeshadow i'm going in the morphe x james charles eyeshadow palette like say whatever but this eye shadow palette comes like so in handy i don't think it's there anymore i bought it like so long ago um now i'm again going to go ahead and take a similar kind a small brush i'm going to go ahead and take that black i'm going to just add that like i'm just tapping it just kind of in increasing the intensity of black you can skip this part if you don't want it as intense i just like it that way now be very careful and like very light handed when you do all this because like i told you is black if it goes wrong you will be able to see it next i'm going to take this dark brown 
and I'm going ahead with the Morphe M506 brush. Brushes are so important, especially if you want to like detail your eyeshadow really well. You can kind of blend with like most of them, but if like that tiny detail, some brushes are really important. So like if you get can get itty bitty brushes that will always be great. It's not it does not have to be branded. It just has to be like a good you know shape. Like you need to have a variation of really small ones to really big ones. Again, going ahead and adding that on that edge so do you see that black to brown gradient that's what I was trying to get I am going in with a even more lighter uh, brown probably like a transition shade so I'm going to either take this like and mix a little bit of this or something or you can just like mix your bronzer I'm just going to add that on the crease area and now i'm going to kind of shape my eye with this brown like you know do you see that i'm just adding this one right here you don't need that really intense black to give you dimension to the eye because that can look kind of really strong sometimes and um, this just like you know gives you that this can you know easily blend into your bronzer so like this will look intense but with having structure and like um you know mixing into your bronzer which makes it look more uh, natural while having like really nice intense black eyes i'm just going to say go ahead and do the same thing on this side but nice i like it we're going to see if there's any fallout yes there was just going to wipe that off i'm quickly going to do my base now but i have like nothing like new to show for my uh base so i'm just going to you know let you guys like see what i'm doing in this like swift moment or montage of clips so let's go I don't know why this looks so yellow all of a sudden i'm using this i've been using this every day Okay, coming back to eyes, the same three, how many steps did I do? Four steps. Uh, what I did on the top lash, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom lash. Wow. I did like this and the brush impression. Look at how it came. Oh my God. So stupid, Akansha. Especially in the inner corner, I did not want it to be so thick and that's how it happened. And I, now I have to like somehow fix this. The lower lash line is a little too thick than what I like it to be. Uh, I don't like it to make thick because I feel like for me it kind of droops down my eye. So I like to make it a little thinner than what it is on the lower lash line. But um, this is where we are at. I will try to fix it a little bit with my compact. Uh, but yeah so far this is it i kind of use the same brown under the uh, you know lower lash line also and blended it further now i'm going to actually take mac studio fix and i'm going to try to you know correct this mistake that i've just done because see look at how much pigment that gives so i'm kind of going to like this even brightens that under eye and also like might diffuse that black a little bit Okay, not bad, a little better. Some setting spray. The L'Oreal Infallible one. Some highlighter. 
Glomio Beauty Lashes and Tees So yeah guys this is the finished look for outfit I wanted to do like something indo western so I have like a blazer on and this chain is so beautiful but not seen in the frame but anyways this is the finished look let me just like come a little closer love it love 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 it's giving giving a lot like piku from not piku from dipika but dipika padukone in piku vibes and i love it she looks stunning in that um movie so yeah this is the finished look i hope it is useful if you do recreate this look then definitely let me know like send me pictures i love seeing like any of the recreations of my um looks this video shout out goes to monica raj punjabi thank you monica for always loving and supporting absolutely means the world to me if you want to be part of next video shout out then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag aks and you can be a part that's about it for this video i will see you guys in my next one bye